गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन दिस इज मानस पटनायक योर फ्रेंड एंड ट्यूटर एंड लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद आर सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन सोल्यूशन ऑफ इक्वेशन दिस इज गोइ टू बी एक्सरसाइज नंबर वन एंड प्रॉब्लम टू हेयर वी गो वेल प्रॉब्लम टू हैज टू पार्ट इन दी फर्स्ट पार्ट वी आर डीलिंग विद अ क्यूबिक इक्वेशन इन दी सेकेंड पार्ट वी डील विद अ बाई क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ओके लेट मी रीड प्रॉब्लम टू पार्ट वन सॉल्व द इक्वेशन एक्स क्यूब प्लस सिक्स एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी इक्वल्स टू जीरो वन रूट बींग वन प्लस थ्री आया उठा ओके सो दिस इज एन इमेजिनरी रूट राइट लेट मी री राइट दिस इक्वेशन विद एन एक्स स्क्वेयर टर्म बट ऑब्वियसली इट्स कोफिशियंट इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो सेकेंडली वन ऑफ द रूट लेट्स कॉल दिस एज अल्फा इज वन प्लस थ्री आया उठा सो द अदर रूट हैज टू बी वन माइनस थ्री उल्टा एज इमेजिनरी रूट ऑलवेज ऑकर इन कंजुगेट पेयर्स दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी लर्न क्या okay if one root is alpha plus i beta other root has to be alpha minus i beta this is what you call conjugate pairs if you come across an irrational root of the form a plus root b it has got a brother in the form of a minus root b again this is what you call a conjugate pair okay so in part 1 of the problem we've got an imaginary root here we go third root let's assume it as gamma whose value is something that will work out how so let's see First of all, go for sum of the roots. Here it is: alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b over a, or the formula which I have written down, okay, minus a one over a naught. This is something that you can uh, refer to from the first lecture. Okay, I introduced you you to the entire concept of polynomials and algebraic equations. Okay, here we go. Minus b over a, so minus of zero over one. You can write it like this. Sum of the roots one plus three iota one minus three iota. I have written down everything plus gamma is equal to minus of zero over one. Three iota and three iota will cancel each other out. One plus one is two, so gamma will be equal to negative two. So the roots are one plus three iota, one minus three iota, and negative two. A very simple problem indeed. Let's move to the next problem. That is a bit complex. Take a look. X power four minus two x cube. Let me write this down first of all. Done, sir. Now what? Sir, one root is irrational. Two plus root three. Let's call it as alpha. So the other root, its pair, its conjugate pair has got to be two minus root three. Now uh, we know two roots, okay, and both of them are irrational. What about the other two, sir? Because this is a biquadratic equation. The degree is n is equal to four, so it has got to have as many as four roots. How can you work out the remaining two? Okay, here we go. Let me start. By applying an equation in the form of sum of the roots, okay. And by the way, if 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 you want to watch this carefully, sum of the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. This is what you call sum of the roots. Is going to be equal to. Let me write a negative sign over here. Okay. Start with the second term, and then alternately keep changing the signs. When you apply the alpha beta gamma relationships, this is the first one. Sum of the roots simply. So this is going to be minus of. Minus two over one. The coefficient of x power four is one. By the way, secondly, if you apply the sum of product, this is sum. What I am applying right now is the sum of product, taking two at a time: alpha beta plus beta gamma followed by gamma delta, then uh, delta alpha. All of this is going to be equal to plus minus twenty two. This is how you need to apply. Please. observe this very very carefully now again you can apply sum of product taking three roots at a time you can go for alpha beta gamma plus sub beta gamma delta followed by gamma delta alpha followed by delta alpha beta okay you can do that all of this is going to be equal to negative then positive 62 you can write this over 1 and finally the product when you take the product this is going to be simply alpha beta gamma delta this is going to be equal to positive please please observe how i am making all of these relationships minus 15 minus 15 please remember these things over the coefficient of x power 4 that is 1 this is how all the relationships can be set up and since n is equal to 4 over here there are going to be as many as four relationships between alpha beta gamma and delta okay i am going to apply over here the sum rule and the product rule right why the reason being very simple there are only two unknowns 
which I have to work out gamma and delta. So two equations, two simple equations rather uh, will become will make it rather very easy for me. Let's begin now. Sir, let's take the sum of 2 plus root 3, 2 minus root 3 plus gamma plus delta. And that is going to be equal to minus of minus 2 over 1. Sir, uh, root 3, root 3 cancel. 2 plus 2 is 4. And over here we have plus 2. So, plus 2 minus 4 will give us the value of gamma plus delta. That is our equation number 1. Secondly, sir, we are going to go for the product of roots. If you watch carefully, alpha, beta, gamma, delta. That means 2 plus root 3, 2 minus root 3 into gamma into delta okay and obviously positive minus 15 minus 15 over 1 this is something that you now know okay let me erase all of these things fair enough okay sir so this would become 2 square minus of root 3 square and then this is going to be negative if you watch carefully this is 4 minus of 3 4 minus 3 is 1 gamma delta is equal to negative 15 we have ourselves second equation two equations two unknown gamma and delta can be worked out very very easily let's start with this equation number one let's go for it okay sir so what we can do is we can put the value of gamma is equal to negative 15 over delta let me put this value of gamma into this equation one multiply both the sides by delta what will happen is minus 15 plus delta square is equal to negative 2 delta bring negative 2 delta to the lhs it will become positive so you can see that this becomes a quadratic equation 3 into 5 is 15 and 5 minus 3 is going to be 2 so we are going to use this okay 5 delta minus 3 delta will become 2 delta done take delta as common and here you can take minus 3 as common whatever remains is again you can take delta plus 5 as common delta plus 5 and delta minus 3 these are the factors then so delta is equal to 3 comma minus 5 and when you put this value of 3 over here you are going to get gamma as a negative 15 and when you have put the value of delta as minus 5 over here you are going to get gamma as positive 3 let me do that and this is the result okay whichever way you look at it if it is this pair 3 comma minus 5 okay if it is this pair it is 5 minus 5 comma 3 whichever way you look at it both of them are pretty much the same okay so the final roots are uh 2 plus root 3 2 minus root 3 and 3 comma minus 5 or you can also say 2 plus root 3 2 minus root 3 and minus 5 comma positive 3 whichever way you look at it it's one and same thank you very very much okay